It's Africa Week at the United Nations. This week, officials from around the world joined together at the UN to celebrate 50 years since the establishment of the Organization for African Unity, the precursor to today's African Union. This is an historic moment because we're commemorating uh, these, this series of historic moments. And I think the charge for us is for us to think about the ways in which um, we've made these incredible accomplishments. We want to commemorate them. We want to pat ourselves on the back, uh, but we also want to be forward thinking and forward looking. Today's spotlight was on the 10th anniversary of the African Peer Review Mechanism, a unique tool for promoting good governance in African member states by allowing countries to review one another and acknowledge best practices for sustainable development and greater political and economic inclusion. APRM is a fundamental instrument for the transformative governance and African Agenda 2063, as peace, security, and stability are prerequisite for development. And we don't have a problems with aspirations in Africa. If we have the best documents. What we lack in the continent is the action. And it's the political will and commitment to make those aspirations into implementation that will benefit people. Panelists took note of the importance of the APRM, but were aware of its shortcomings as well. Lack of inclusion of young people, who constitute 70% of Africa's population, was singled out as an area for improvement. Um, I'm going to ask your permission to be particularly provocative. 70% of the population of the continent that are below the age of 30. Uh, over 200 million are between the ages of 15 and 24. But we have not, in, including through this mechanism, yet been able to put front and center the development of the human resource, especially the young people. Unlike other mechanisms promoting development and good governance, the APRM is entirely organized and implemented by African nations. It is their hope that a new narrative about Africa can be built to counter the negative news that one often hears in mainstream media and non-African governments. I think the narrative of Africa has been shaped by outsiders. Very little about Africa is known. CNN or any other media doesn't pick on that. We have our own problems, but also our own solutions. That's why I think it's, in the, it's important to, to move to, uh, to make this exercise with our own expertise and our own vision. The past 50 years in Africa have been extremely dynamic. Six of the ten fastest growing economies are in Africa. South-South cooperation is increasing. A middle class is forming. And good governance norms are helping build a safer society across the continent. Yet the problems are also enormous. Poverty, inequality, political corruption, and ethnic conflict are some of the many things that will need to be addressed over the coming years. The APRM is an excellent way to address those problems while also help Africa build an identity of its own. This is Brendan Pastor at the United Nations for South-South News.